uh, hi guys my name is narayan and i welcome all the viewers in this uh, video and my youtube channel so guys in this video uh, i just tried to brought uh, a small topic which is very important and very crucial uh, for the uh, azure administrator administrator or any it guy who is working in it so the concept is uh, i hope everybody is aware about what is application proxy or proxy server basically so in this video i'm just gonna to cover about azure active directory application proxy what does it mean how it works and what is the role of application proxy in azure or azure active directory application proxy you can say and what what kind of application work with application uh, proxy and how does application proxy work so it is gonna be a theoretical uh, discussion in this video if you found this video useful and informative for you guys please don't forget to subscribe this channel comment on this video share this video and like this video so let me begin uh, with the next uh, thing in this so we will understand what is Azure Active Directory application proxy so guys uh, as I move to further here what is azure active directory application proxy basically we should be knowing the basic thing about it and theoretical thing about it, then only we can understand it practically and better way so azure ad application proxy provides single sign on and secure remote access for web application hosted on premises so this first uh, point itself giving the entire history or entire story or entire concept about what is application proxy in Azure Active Directory so it provides the facility or service of single sign-on and secure remote access for web application hosted on premises on premises network so basically if we talk about the Azure so uh, we have one traditional data center which is on premises before that I mean before coming uh, or before you you can say like uh, in past when Azure was not there we had a, a tradition to develop on-premises data centers okay so in this scenario also we are removing this Azure from here and I'm talking about the traditional data center so we have certain uh, web applications over there and we want to access so we can use this Azure Active Directory application proxy if I'm trying to log in from Azure and uh, I have migrated my on-premises uh, resources or the configuration whatever I had to proxy then the same user can access uh, the applications which are kept on premises or hosted over there so for that this Azure Active Directory application proxy will provide a single sign-on and secure remote access some apps you would want to publish include SharePoint sites okay uh, Outlook web access or any other LOV uh, web applications you have these on-premises web applications are integrated with Azure AD so whatever applications we have like uh, Office uh, Outlook web access or SharePoint sites so all are integrated with all these are at on-premises data center now we have integrated those applications with Azure AD the same identity and control platform that is used by Office 365 now next thing end user can access your on-premises applications the same way they access of, uh, Office 365 and that software as a service apps integrated with Azure AD so there is nothing in this with the help of this Azure Active Directory application proxy we can access both Azure based or Azure integrated applications which are kept on premises without any problem you don't need to change entire network infrastructure or require VPN to provide this solution for user access so we do not need to make any changes on our uh, IT infrastructure we just need to have VPN connection to access remotely or express root connection for this kind of access if you want to access uh, anything which is kept on 
on premises and with the help of azure active directory application proxy now why is application proxy a better solution for that kind of scenario why we should use application proxy this is the question so guys azure ad wrap application proxy provides simple secure and cost effective remote access solution to all your on premises applications so this is my uh, on premises application or uh, web uh, you can say the app server i have here and i am here azure okay so i want to access from here i have a user here and he is trying to access certain applications from on premises for that i can configure here azure active directory application proxy so that it will provide secure connection now i'm talking about the features or benefits you can say why we should use uh, for that kind of uh, requirement uh, application proxy so first one is simple it is a very simple you don't need to change or update your application to work with application proxy so we do not need to make any change on that particular server or that application if you want to access through uh, azure ad replication proxy so it is very simple your user get a consistent authentication experience so they will get the same authentication as they were uh, getting earlier there is no change in that kind i mean that that scenario they can use the my apps as portal to get single sign on to both uh, software as a service apps in the cloud and your apps on premises so that the same user can access both uh, applications which are capped or which are available as a saas uh, software as a application service or if those applications are kept on premises environment so there is nothing there is nothing to worry and for that they can use my app portal to get single sign on to both the applications or both the uh, sites they can access so this is how azure ad uh, application proxy works and helpful so this is very simple the next one is secure it is very secure high secure there is uh, nothing to worry about like in security and all so when you publish your apps using ad replication proxy okay you can take advantage of the rich authentication control and security and uh, analytics in azure so we have these kind of facilities available as services available you get cloud skill security and azure security feature like conditional access and two step verification so high security is available here now next things you don't have to open any inbound connection through your firewall to give your user remote access so, so at the same time we not we do not need to uh, allow any inbound connection or any port or uh, something like that on our firewall it will provide you secure connection from itself now cost effective how it is cost effective application proxy works in the cloud so you can save time and money on premises solution typically require you to set up uh, and maintain dmz network dmz networks edge server and other complex infrastructure so it will uh, require lots of time to configure all those things and we need to purchase hardware and all for that we will have to configure high security like dmz kind of network pro uh, to secure that web applications or uh, those servers but here we do not need to do all those things we do not require uh, that dmz kind of uh, uh, infrastructure or a server just we can use this feature and we can eliminate the requirement of edge server or maintain like uh, dmz and all so this is how it is useful and uh, now guys what kind of application work with applic uh, application proxy here this is also a very important uh, point so web applications that use integrated windows authentication for authentication if we have any application that is using or that requires integrated windows authentication for authentication so these kind of application can be supported by application proxy and and this kind of application can work and they can get authentication or whatever is required next web application web application that use form based or header based access so if we have any application which is going to be accessed or using headers or form based so they can also be supported from here 
web API that you want to expose to rich application on different devices so I don't have any much idea about this one what is that okay application hosted behind a remote desktop gateway if we have remote desktop gateway that time also we can use this and there will be a secure connection and with without any problem next thing rich client apps that are integrated with your active directory authentication library if we have certain application which is known as like rich client app and they are integrated with active directory authentication library so all these kind of application can be supported with uh, Azure Active Directory application proxy and they can get authentication and they can work without any problem so guys next thing here I have taken like how does application proxy box so we have understood what what is the uh, uh, application proxy here and uh, uh, what kind of application uh, are supported here and uh, what are the benefits using if you are using uh, this application proxy okay or you can see the features or advantages now we will see how it works basically so there are two component if we are configuring application proxy so we have to take care of two very very important uh, component here first one is a connector and second one is external endpoint these are the very important uh, component uh, which play a very crucial role or very important role if we miss anything here so th this will not work so how it works I will tell you what does it mean by a connector and external endpoint here and how they play their role so guys I'm talking about a connector here okay what it is an external endpoint so I will uh, this is a scenario I will show you here and I will show you uh, the entire process how it works so first of all we will try to understand what is a connector so guys the connector or a connector this one the connector is a lightweight agent that is available or set on a windows server inside your network so it is a kind of agent we need to install it or we need to uh, put it on our windows server inside our network okay very simple thing about it it is a agent lightweight agent the connector facilitates the traffic flow from application proxy server in the cloud to your application on premises so it is a kind of mediator it will flow the traffic uh, from the application proxy service in the cloud to your application on premises so I will show you I hope you, uh, it, it is uh, quite difficult to understand here how it is but in next slide I will show you uh, this is the this you can say it is a traffic forwarding kind of role of this a uh, connector here it only uses outbound connection so you do not have to open any inbound or put anything in the uh, DMZ so it will use outbound connection only the connector are stateless and pull information from the cloud as necessary if it requires any information it will uh, take take that information and it will pull those information from the cloud if required only so this is the uh, function of a connector here you can say the traffic forwarding from or it is a mediator between your application proxies uh, service or uh, on-premises applications now we will understand external endpoint so this is a inside a network now the external endpoint is how your user reach your application while outside your network so it was inside a network now this is outside your network now that user is not in your network and he is trying to access the application so how he will reach what will be the procedure this external endpoint will handle that kind of activity they can either go directly uh, through external URL uh, that you determine or they can access application through my app portal so they have two ways one is like URL based or second one is like my app portal they can access through like this when users go to one of these endpoints they authenticate uh, they authentic uh, the first of all if they are trying to access uh, one of these things they will they will have to get authentication from Azure AD first of all and then are routed through the connector to on-premises application so now first of all that request if the, the request is coming from outside it will get authentication from active directory from there Azure Active Directory then it will be routed through that connector that connector will send that uh, request to that on-premises uh, on application 
uh, this connector okay so I will show you here how it works so as you can see guys here I have one Azure Active Directory here this is application proxy service and this is application proxy connector this is web server on premises application and this is AD and this is a user okay so I will show you here uh, not not going to that uh, slide now we will try to understand this is a user so first step is here the user accesses the application through the application proxy service and is directed to Azure AD sign in page to authentication so what is happening here now I will show you this is a user he is trying you can, you can say this is a okay first step now this user is trying to access that application that request is going to active directory Azure active directory for authentication now this got authenticated from here the so same thing is going back to that user so it will generate one token here it after a successful sign in a token is generated and sent back to the uh, client okay now it has generated one token and it is sent back to uh, this user or client now that this is a second step here now that token is going to application proxy connector okay here now what will happen here third step the client sends the token to the authenticated proxy service which retrieves the uh, user principal uh, name UPN and security principal which is known as SP and from the token so it will retrieve two information from here first one is UPN and second one is SPN from that token then direct the request to the application proxy connector so here this is a see this one this service this service will remove uh, retrieve two information was first one is UPN and second one is SPN and now this information will go to application proxy connector okay now this connector what this this connector will do here so first one is here I will take different color here everything is becoming uh, same uh, let me take uh, black so first is done here second is done here this third one is done here okay now fourth so we have to uh, that the request came here after retrieving those two things UPN and SPN now where is this fourth one fourth one is going to it is it is directing this uh, to AD active directory once again which is on my on premises now after this again this go back to connector okay so this is your fourth step here now what will happen if you have configured single sign on the connector performs any additional authentication required on behalf of user so this is the next additional thing here if we have configured single sign on now what will happen the connector sends the request to the on premises application so now after getting authentication from here again this application proxy connector will send that request to web server which is kept on on premises this is the fifth, fifth step here now uh, once uh, it got entire authentication and whatever is required here to get proper access of that uh, web server now that this web server will send reply to this user as you can see here this is the sixth step now this is going from this again application proxy uh, connector and it will send uh, through uh, application proxy service to this user so this is how proxy works here in this and as you can see here the response is sent through application proxy service and connected to the users now uh, this AD is not required here Azure Active Directory is not, not required because they have already given their uh, authentication and whatever was required from their end and this user is now able to access the web server remotely so guys this is how uh, this application uh, proxy works here and I hope uh, this is gonna be uh, informative for you guys and uh, helpful if you have any uh, like uh, any doubts or anything you can put on comment and uh, if you feel like it is informative don't forget to subscribe my channel comment on this video share this video like this video if you do uh, share this video obviously it will reach to the other people also and they may also come to learn little bit thing so guys uh, this is uh, what I had tried to bring uh, in this video and I hope it is going to be informative. Until then, bye-bye guys. Have a nice time.